to do so we could see if that was the problem. So I was like, it's fixed. He was like, well, I guess so. I'm like, thank you, Jesus. So I said, well, how much can I pay you? He's like, just give me $25. Because he spent like an hour and a half trying to get the whole thing apart. So I'm like, well, I'm not buying nothing until if it gets stuck again, I'm just going. Hit what? The yeah. key. So it's just like if you were breaking in the car, they usually, you see it on TV, they stick something in the ignition and then they tap it and it pops the steering wheel loose and then you can, what you call it, hot wire it or whatever. But in my case, I'm able to turn the key because that's what was wrong. The key would not turn. It oh. wouldn't do anything. There you go. So I'm like, no. So I didn't pay my internet. I was like, I don't know how much this car is going to cost, but I do know that I'm taking this rental car back. So Can you read? I mean, how much would it cost to get it turned back on? My internet? Oh, I can turn it on at any time. They're real easy. You just pay it over the phone, it comes right back on. Oh, okay. But it was just the fact I didn't want to get up off that money. So that's why I was at Kinko's. Because I was full of, I was there last night, but I kept getting distracted. Because it's like, I don't have internet. So when I was at Kinko's, I kept going online to stuff. And I was like, forget it. So the next thing I know, it's 10 o'clock last night, and I still hadn't did my homework. So I was like, I'll get up early and do it. Then that's when I text you. I happened to wake up. I still didn't do it. Uh oh. <laughs> so now I did it. I did the minimum though. I didn't really get that. Dang! Can you pick your head up?